Okay. Guys. Um, hi, well, my name is Jack Heiberger. I, along with my wife, own the Acorn Gallery in Marblehead. We're um, a gallery, but uh, mostly we're a school for um, younger kids in the afternoon and for portfolio students at night, people who want to get into college, get a scholarship, or just build a portfolio for acceptance to college. Um, we've been here about 12 or 13 years. Uh, we started out, I just took a portion of this space as a rental uh, for a place for my own studio. But being here over a period of time, um, people saw what I was doing and they came in and started asking for lessons and one thing led to another and we were in this business. Um, we still, I still use it as a place where I paint, uh, so does Deborah, but we also now run classes morning, afternoon and evening. Um, we, that's not to say we don't have a lot of time to paint ourselves, we do, but we also teach a lot. Um, and we teach uh, art and we also teach self-discipline. It's a, it's, a, it's a part of the, it's the thing I think I like most about this and it relates to my own education. Uh, when I was at Boston University in their art program, I learned a lot of things and most of them about art, but I learned one big thing and that was that uh, because they would ask a tremendous amount of us, I learned that if you apply yourself, you can do anything. And it's the real goal of our kind of teaching. We make a, an environment that's comfortable, and then we try and push kids to a place where they can be successful and learn as much about themselves as they do. Fiona. I've been going to Acorn for eight years and it's like my second family. It's the best place there is. I've always come here to paint figures and to talk about life. Um, this is my third summer at Acorn. I came here uh, the summer of eighth grade and this is the summer of I'm going into eleventh grade and Acorn is pretty much my life and I'd be very different if it weren't for it. Me too. I wouldn't be going to art school at BU, and I wouldn't be wanting to be a painter if I had never come to A4. And I wouldn't have met Becky <laughs> and Fiona. <laughs> Jack and Deb are the two most incredible people I know. They invented a utopia. It's an amazing place. Um, there's nothing else like it anywhere that I know of. Um, it's a community, and it's always going to be important to me.